I have run it on. I've got a Winkhaus cylinder here. Uh, on these cylinders there's normally a circlip like this one. Uh, it just bends and you can remove it, replace it with a new one or use the old one. But on these cylinders um, the circlip goes all the way around. Uh, they are made in the factory this way and are not supposed to be rekeyable. Or that's our hypothesis. Uh, in this video I want to show you how I uh, remove these. I want to be able to remove this circlip with the normal tools like this one. Uh, to do this I will need to cut a little slot in the circlip. Uh, and I do this with um, a slotted screwdriver, a very uh, narrow one, very sharp. This one has to be modified. For this one I use a rubber hammer so I don't damage my screwdriver. I place the, um, uh, the screwdriver on the circlip on top because um, it's crimped like an oval. You will need to punch it on the, the peaks, the peaks of the oval uh, because they're um, there's a slot in the core of the um, of the lock, and I just uh, whack it with the hammer, and not try not to hit the camera. It's important to tighten the vise. Almost. The previous one I hit was a lot easier than this one. Why won't you break? Yep, we broke the, the circlip in two parts. Uh, and now we can just use the regular tools to uh, disassemble the lock. We remove the clip, it's uh, bent very slightly, um, but we cannot use this one anymore. Um, we can replace this with a regular sir clip, uh, but it won't be as sturdy as it was before. So this works fine for lock sport, but I would not recommend to put this lock back into service. Um, you could always consult your local locksmith if you want to use lock again. Uh, and for this assembling it's just a uh, regular uh, put in the key, turn it, pull the key out. But I will do that uh, off camera. These are the pins of the lock and the reason I tore this lock apart was uh, because uh, Winkhouse has uh, nice key pins, uh, the, they are torpedoes, but they, those, these don't appear to be um, torpedoes. Uh, furthermore, I was expecting these to have uh, master pinning, uh, but they don't appear to have any, uh, which is a surprise. Uh, I've got these from a uh, lousy eBay uh, sale and it is not what I expected. The only good thing about this one is the, um, the bidding. Uh, pin 3 is very high and hard to reach. You can see the difference in key pin size here. Thank you for watching. See ya.